Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the skills you need to be a data scientist or a data analyst. So, what is data? Data means facts and statistics collected together for references and analysis. So what is data science? Data science is obtaining insight and information out of raw data. Data science is obtaining information and insight out of raw data. So what does this mean for a data scientist or a data analyst? These two people or these two jobs are kind of similar. They do similar jobs, but one of them does more in-depth job than the other one. The data analyst does descriptive analysis job. What do I mean by descriptive analysis? Descriptive analysis is looking into historical data, data that is already existing, and looking at a trend, what happened between this time and this time, and then getting insight from that information. That is descriptive analysis. But a data scientist does more of descriptive analysis and predictive analysis. I said earlier that descriptive analysis is looking into historical data, but prescriptive analysis is looking into the future, you know, forecasting the future. I'll give an example. A company has a historical data sales number between January and when May, January and May. And the data analysts get this data, get the sales information from all over the country, all different states of the country, and then begin to analyze where the sales is coming from, what state is selling, which is not selling. Why is it not selling? Is there seasonality between this time, the sales goes up and comes down? Why did it go up? Why did it come down? What is responsible for the growth? Why is it dropping? What state is it dropping? These are all the things that data analysts will be doing. Manipulating the numbers, looking at the number, cleaning it up, and then making insights, generating insights from that number. But when it comes to uh, a data scientist, he begins to look at the future. Now that we have the historical data, what is going to happen in the next four months, in the next three months, seven months, in the next quarter? So that's what the data scientist begins to do. He begins to look at uh, the future. He begins to forecast for the future, looking at historical data. Having said all this, the next thing is the skill you need or the skills you need to be a good analyst. The first one is to have good knowledge of mathematics and statistics. Oh yes, if you want to be a good analyst, you need the knowledge of mathematics and statistics. The next one is a good knowledge of SQL. This is structured query language. In fact, this is the main knowledge, the main skill you need to be a good analyst. And the next one is uh, you should be comfortable handling data from different sources and formats such as CSV, text format, Excel, Adobe, uh, MS, ETC. And then for you to be a good analyst, you should have excellent knowledge of analyzing data using tools such as R, Python, Pandas, ETC. These are technical skills you need to be a good analyst. Another important part of this analysis uh, business or job is to have um, experience with popular data analysis and visualization tools such as Tableau, SAS, SAS, SAP BI, Oracle BI, Quick View, and so on. These are BI tools or BI skills you need to be uh, a good analyst. Well, I'll say that data analysis has been around for a while. 
things are really moving very fast and I'll say that companies are moving fast with the way things are changing so you need to brace yourself up you need to learn more you need to sharpen your skills to get better and then be marketable if you don't get better you cannot move with the pace things are moving so I'm gonna drop some links in the comment section you can click on any of the links to learn more about some of these skills that I mentioned and then I'm gonna stop here so like come your way next time my name is Mary Madeyemi thank you for watching